Good morning. It is Monday, May 9th. I actually looked this time, so I knew exactly what the date was. <laughs> it's about 11 a.m. and we are so excited to be having really nice warm temperatures this week in Southwest Michigan so that we can start hardening off our plants and getting them ready to go outside. Woot woot! This is like what we wait for all winter long when we start our seeds, knowing that there's gonna be the day that we can finally get them out of our houses and into the ground. And as much as I would just love just get them all on the ground right now, there is unfortunately a process that you have to go through before. And it is the most annoying process of the seed starting epic. And that is hardening off your plants. Ugh, how much I would love to get all of these beauties in the ground today or at least this week. But unfortunately, they have been pampered and taken care of very well inside my house for the last few months. And they would die if I put them in the ground with all the elements, bada bing, bada boom, like that. So we have to warm these babies up, literally. Take them outside, get them a little sunshine so they don't get a sunburn. We gotta pamper them just a little bit longer while they get used to being out in the elements. And then probably at the end of the week, maybe this weekend, I can really start moving some of them out. Um, my general way of doing this, and I'm kind of cheating today, and I'll tell you why in a minute, is to put them out in the evening um, when it's cooler, when um, <clears throat> the sun has kind of moved out. Like this, this will be where I harden off my plants because it's right outside the room where I have them in my house. Um, so it's just so much easier for me to walk and put them all out here in one spot. I wouldn't have the room to do that out my other door that you can actually see right through there. Um, but they are getting direct sun right now. It is direct morning sun. Um, so it's not the hottest sun of the day. So I am going to keep a close eye on them. Um, and I'm setting a timer for, I'm going to set a timer for 45 minutes. I'm not even going to go a full hour yet. Um, and that is key when you're hardening off your plants is to set a timer because trust me, you will forget unless you're sitting there and babysitting them and reading a good book during that hour, you will forget. So I'm setting a timer for 45 minutes. I'm going to come back and check on them. And then I, what I'll probably do is move them into the shade over here. And then some of my more delicate plants, I'll probably take back in and put under the heat lamps. And then tomorrow I'll give them a little bit more time outside and the next day a little bit more. And like I said, it's really ideal to do it in the evenings. And so I will aim to do it in the evenings. But today I just wanted to get them out here. Um, I'm just a little antsy. So I'm going to, I'm taking a slight risk putting them in the sun right now, but it's not a hot sun. Um, and I'm only going to let them be here for a little bit. So there they all are. They are ready to go out. Actually, if I wanted to, I probably could even put the bell peppers out this week because the lows are not getting below 50. Your bell peppers are the ones that you really have to be careful with because they are super sensitive to cool and cold weather. So I will probably not put them out till next week, but I'm definitely let them, I'm gonna let them harden off out here with the rest of them. So we're starting the hardening off process. I am gonna plant some herbs today in the in my planters over here. So not really in the ground. This is, this is a little bit more pampered situation than just putting them directly in the ground. But herbs are also a lot more hardier than some of these plants so they can tolerate it a little bit more. So anyway, starting the process. Hate hardening off, but you gotta do it. And um, one quick tip I will share, because I'm seeing it all my bell pepper seedlings right now, is a lot of them are already throwing little fruit, little flowers on here, which seems really exciting to see all these buds of fruit on your plants. But actually what you want to do is pick off, whoops, there it went, pick off those buds, those flowers at this point in the game. Because what's gonna happen is, is your plant is going to put more energy into these flowers and into producing fruit than it will putting into the roots, which really need to work to get established, um, especially once you get them in ground. So any of these little sweet flowers that you see on your tomatoes and your bell peppers, pick them off. Just trust me, it'll make your plant so much better and stronger in the end if you'll pick them off. And then, you know, a week or so after being in the ground, if you start seeing 
Oh, here are the bees are already coming out. Um, if you see them come off once they're in the ground, then you can go ahead and let those go. But you really want your plants to work on establishing strong roots, strong stems, lots of leaves, so that it has a really good start to being a healthy plant um, for you for the season. So I'm sitting here and I'm picking off all these buds. I've been picking some off this past week anyway, but they just keep cropping, cropping up. So I'm gonna keep picking them off. So there's your hot tip for the day. Make sure that you make it a slow introduction for your plants into the elements because they have been pampered inside. You'll ruin them, you'll kill them if you harden them off too fast or if you don't harden them off at all. Um, and then if you have little fruits growing on like your tomatoes and your, well really any of your plants other than your flowers, you wanna pick those off so that they are um, building strong roots and strong stems. So. Good luck to all of you guys who are doing that this week. It's exciting times up here in North when we finally get to put our gardens out. Uh, but do it slowly. Don't get too overzealous because then you'll lose all your hard work that you've been doing uh, this past winter. So I'll see you on the forum and have fun. Bye.